You want to do a whiskey quickie with Henry McKenna? Get ready. Hey, this is Mark from Northwest Bourbon. Thank you for joining me. I got a brand new bottle of Henry McKenna, bottled in bond, 10 years old. It says barrel number 11579. That indicates that each one of these is a single barrel offering. Now, I had not heard of Henry McKenna 10 year until after it had won two consecutive years at the San Francisco Spirit Awards, which has never been done before. And after that happened, it became incredibly hard to find. I'd never seen it on the shelf myself. So when one of my favorite liquor stores told me that they got a bottle in and was I interested, I said, I am, but it depends on how much. Because you know I don't pay ridiculous secondary prices. So let's see a nice pull tab here. So as you know, bottled and bonds are 100 proof, but typically they are age stated for four years. This one is age stated 10 years. So that's already interesting. But the fact that it's a single barrel because it's got a barrel number on it, that makes it pretty interesting too. All right, so I poured some of that into my wisdom glass. Real healthy pour, got a little carried away, but it's all right. You see it's got a nice, good, rich, full color to it. Smells some spicy vanilla right off the bat. Almost like a, uh, almost like a vanilla flavored black tea. Smells some more caramel and some wood down further into the glass. This is a whiskey quickie, so let's get right into it. Cheers. Got a nice dark caramel introduction to the front of the tongue. Got some wood on the back, a little bit of sp rye spices and pepper, which this is only 12% rye, but you do taste the rye. Second sip is a little bit sweeter up front and it's a little spicier in the back. So all around, it gives you a nice balance of both of those flavors. But both of those flavors still remain really strong. So if you think of this as like on an equalizer bar to where like the sweetness would be really high or the spiciness would be really high or like the wood and caramel would be really high. It's like just all the levels are brought up high. So it's really robust and flavorful, but it's even across the board to where you get a spoonful of everything. That's good. That's just an all-around solid pour. So I'll tell you a secret. The liquor store I got it at, it was $55. Now, if you look up the current going rate for Henry McKenna, it'll say MSRP used to be $30 to $35. Now people are advertising it for $55 to $60. Average price is $85, while some stores are selling it for $160 and over. Now, I got it for $55. And at that price, I would tell you it's a buy all day. If I could find it on the shelf every time I went to the store, then it would always be on my shelf because I think this is a great buy for less than $60 a bottle. Now, if you start talking crazy and start getting over a hundred bucks, you better pass it by every day of the week. Don't you go get swindled on them secondary prices. That's good stuff though. Thanks for joining me. Remember to like, comment, subscribe, earn, protect, enjoy. Cheers.